And finally, we come across this really good question from Riyadh in Phoenix, Arizona. He asks, if a 60 hertz picture is considered flicker-free, why are the new 3D LCD televisions 240 hertz models, when I suppose anything 120 hertz or faster, should be 3D ready? Signed, Riyadh from Phoenix. That's the motion smooth movies in a way that I hate even twice as fast for 3D. That's one way to do it. You know, increasing how often the screen is updated, that's that right. 120 hertz, now 240 hertz technology. Instead of doing it double speed, now it's quadruple mm -hmm. speed for, for 240 hertz. And the short answer is it can be used, of course, to generate those interpolated frames that produce that awful smoothing look for right. film. But for your standard video content, like they shoot sports in and whatnot, mm -hmm. it can really help improve the clarity of the picture. Okay. And I, I think it's worth it to do it, but you got to be realized if you're watching movies, you got to turn that off. But back to the question, the short answer is that those 120 hertz LCDs are not fast enough to produce a flicker-free 3D image. Now, the liquid crystal shutter glasses that you'll be wearing to watch one of these new quote unquote 240 hertz 3D TVs, LCD televisions, they're providing basically a 60 hertz view in each eye. And that is essentially being broken down into, think of it as like on, with, off, twice. In one sixtieth of a second, you have four two fortieths of a second. So if we break it down into <laughs> two fortieths of a second, for that first two fortieth of a left second, frame, say you're left frame off, right frame, right frame off, left frame, left frame off, right frame, right frame off. Pretty close. Pretty, pretty darn spot on, actually. <laughs> it, it, correct. The, for that first 2 40th of a second, for, say, your left eye gate's open, mm -hmm. that, that eye is now unshuttered. Uh, for that first 2 40th, you'll see the, the full picture displayed. Right. Boom. And then, they, then they'll flash in the second 2 40th is a black frame, uh -huh. which helps minimize smearing and other distortions that right. could be caused. And then that eye will shutter shut. The other eye will then gate open. And then for the next, for the next 1 2 40th of a second, the other eye is uh, being displayed one flash as the picture. And then the next two, one two fortieth of a second is the black frame, and then that closes. So, in that sixtieth of a second, quite a bit just happened. But you can think of the glasses. Wow. So essentially, it's it's four. It, yeah, it, it's it's the four glasses are operating frames. technically at one hundred twenty hertz. But so it's four frames every sixtieth. The four yeah. frames every sixtieth of a second. That's what the TV's doing it at the quote. That's why you need two hundred forty hertz because you need to do that black frame insertion right. to really help minimize, like we were talking about, blurring into other distortions that can be caused and. Uh, but does it on no, off no. on off 60th yeah. of a second on off on because you still off, need to give you still need to give 1080p 60 to each eye so if you break that up that essentially how it 240 breaks hertz out. now when we go back to when you look at plasma technology they don't need to do that black frame insertion because mm -hmm. the pixel speed is so great on this latest Panasonic model the VT25 that's their 3D technology it's essentially operating like a 120 hertz display but like I mentioned because of the pixel speed mm -hmm. you don't need that black frame insertion so you don't need to do this you know. Uh, flash the frame, flash black, flash the frame, flash black. You can just say mean, flash the frame, gate the eye, flash the frame, gate the eye. So are plasmas inherently going to be better at 3D because they're so fast? Or? Subje purely subjectively, my eyes tell me they are better. They produce mm -hmm. a more natural, I think it's easier to look at. This goes back to like the early days of HDTVs where plasmas looked better with action. Plasmas, you could definitely see like with a lot of motion, whether it was you know something like a football or a soccer game or a, a gunfight in the movie, an action sequence, a car chase, the plasmas had a bit of an edge over the LCDs. Definitely. Although there are some edge, edge cases where basically if you have a solid white line being swept across the screen mm -hmm. on a plasma, you can get trailing colored edges and leading colored edges mm -hmm. that were always found as annoying as can be. And one thing about this new Panasonic panel that I've seen is that it's been reformulated, the pixel technologies, mm -hmm. to the point where it's so fast now, you're getting crystal clear edges on everything. And it's, it's one of them, as a, as a 2D display, I love it. And I can't wait to just get that in and put my eyes on it for a good long time to see how it works out. Mm -hmm. Anyway, but essentially, if you're buying 3D this year, you're a, you're a test case for everything that's going on. And you're, Thanks. You're, you're quote unquote the early adopter and be proud of that. <laughs>